In this video, I will share why I'm leaving Kartra. If you're considering using Kartra or you need a reliable long-term builder, make sure you watch this video to the end because I'll share the alternative to Kartra that will save you $956. When I started my business, I thought that I needed the most advanced tools to make my marketing campaigns work. I run a Facebook ads and YouTube ads agency and I noticed that some of my most successful clients keep it simple. They don't use sophisticated marketing tools nor do they build sophisticated marketing campaigns. However, when it was time to choose a funnel builder, I didn't know all those things. Let me explain. I started using Kartra because it offered a lot of features for a very decent price. With Kartra, you get a landing page builder, email marketing tool, checkouts, membership websites, video hosting platform, pre-built marketing campaigns, lead forms, calendar. Kartra can easily replace ClickFunnels Calendly, Wistia, ActiveCampaign, all in one platform. On top of that, Kartra is super easy to use. You can set up campaigns within minutes. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner marketer or a super experienced marketing heavyweight. With Kartra, you can create anything from simple lead magnets to super sophisticated marketing campaigns. Kartra comes with great tutorials and educational videos, but in the end, I decided to leave Kartra after using the platform for more than two years. There are four main reasons why I'm leaving Kartra. The first reason why I decided to leave is the landing page builder. Don't get me wrong, the landing page builder works great and even a kid can build a campaign, but somehow the text always looks weird. No matter how many font styles I tried, I could never find a combination that looked decent. The font size features are different from the ones I'm used to seeing in Google Docs, lead pages or even click funnels. For example, with the font features Kartra offers, the text looks either too big or too small, too thin or too huge. I wish I could have more flexibility with the font features. I always felt my fonts are slightly off, especially when viewing my pages on mobile. I felt like my pages on mobile always look broken. Another reason why I'm not a huge fan of the landing page builder is that sometimes the page doesn't load fast enough and they appear to be broken. I had comments on some of my ads that the pages didn't load and after doing some tests myself I discovered that there is an issue with the loading time of the pages. It's quite annoying to spend money on an expensive landing page builder and spend money on ads to find out that the pages don't load properly. The second reason why I'm leaving Kartra is that I don't need all the features. For example, Kartra offers calendars, a tool that is similar to Calendly, but in my experience, Calendly looks and works so much better. That's why I prefer to use Calendly instead. My business depends on my ability to book appointments with clients, so I would like to use the best tool possible. For my needs, this is Calendly. Kartra allows you to host videos as well, but sometimes the loading speed of the video and the page is not great. That's why I prefer to host my videos somewhere else. The third reason why I'm leaving Kartra is that I wanted to start a blog. Kartra offers a website building feature, but but in my experience, the website feature is somehow confusing. The third reason why I'm leaving Kartra is because I wanted to start a blog and host my website on the same domain and subdomain. Kartra offers a website building feature, but in my experience, the website feature of Kartra is somehow confusing. As I said, I wanted to start a blog and Kartra is not great for blogs. You can still do it, but it's a platform that's optimized to create back-to-back -back marketing campaigns and funnels. It's a platform that's created by marketers for marketers. The way I use Kartra is I would create the pages in Kartra and host them in my WordPress, but that way it was too much hassle. It would be much easier to build the pages in WordPress and it would be much easier to build my website and blog on WordPress because it's one of the most popular website and blog platforms in the world. If something breaks, it would be much easier to find somebody to fix it. From my personal experience, WordPress breaks, but if 43% of the websites on the internet use WordPress, 
probably there is a good reason for that. The next reason why I'm leaving Kartra is the cost. I think Kartra offers great value for money. You get all the features I mentioned earlier in this video for just $97 per month, which is not a lot at all for what you're getting, but I simply don't need all the features. That's why I started looking at different alternatives. Because I need a blog, I decided to choose WordPress and the funnel builder I chose is Optimized Press. It's kind of like a funnel builder specifically designed for WordPress. I know a lot of people in the digital marketing space use Thrive Teams, but I decided to go for Optimized Press because they offer checkouts. If I had to go for Thrive Teams, I had to buy Thrive Checkouts or another card alternative which was more expensive. Optimized Press costs around $200 per year for one website. Optimized Press comes with pre-built funnels, checkouts and a WordPress website theme that I like a lot. And on top of that, it's very easy to use. I can also use a tool called Optimized Mentor which allows me to create memberships and host my online courses. Optimized Press landing pages look great in my opinion and I can optimize the font of the text the way I want. The one thing I wish I could do with Optimized Press is send emails. Most of the email providers out there are super expensive. The most popular options in the info business niche are ActiveCampaign and ConvertKit. ConvertKit costs around $100 for 10,000 contacts per month, which could be expensive for some people. I don't plan to send a lot of emails. My email list right now is around 1,000 people, but still I would like to build it and have the ability to send emails. That's why I chose to use BirdSend. It costs around $25 for 1000 contacts per year and I think it will be a great tool just for my purposes. Another cheap email marketing alternative will be Sandfox, but I didn't go with Sandfox because it has some limitations. You can only send emails to people who confirmed your double opt-in, so that was a deal breaker for me. So here are all the tools I use to run my online business. I buy my domains from Namecheap. A domain will cost me between 10 to $20. I host my website on Cloudways. I pay around 10 to $15 per month for hosting. Optimized Press goes for 200 per year and Birch Send would cost me around $100 per year for 10,000 contacts. I use Calendly, but I plan to switch to TidyCow. TidyCow is an app, Sumo app, that costs $21 one time lifetime access, which is great compared to Calendly that starts at $8 per month per user. I think my software stack is quite cheap for what I'm getting and it's a great alternative to some of the most expensive softwares out there. So do I think Kartra is a bad tool? No, not at all. If you want to build campaigns quickly and easily, I think Kartra is one of the best tools out there. If you're also looking for a all-in-one marketing platform, Kartra is one of the best out there. This was the video for the day. I gave you an alternative to Kartra. Make sure you check the links in the description below. My name is Nico. In this channel, I talk about business, marketing and wealth. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.